Today, we will continue working on the quiz app we created on a previous videos. I will show you how to add a heat map calendar to track the number of quiz sessions for each day in a calendar view. I will use AWS Amplify to create a GraphQL API resource and provision a GraphQL service that uses AWS AppSync to process the quiz sessions data in a DynamoDB. I started configuring the Amplify API by running the command Amplify Add API. Note the options I selected to set up a GraphQL API that uses Amazon Cognito user pool for authorization. The Amplify CLI will add a new folder for the API, which will include the schema GraphQL file, where I will define the quest session data model. I updated the schema file to define the data model to capture the session category, difficulty level, number of questions, the score, and the date of the session. I ran the command Amplify Push to create the resources in the cloud. To generate the quest session model Dart file, I run the command Amplify Code Gen Models. The Amplify CLI will generate the Dart files in the Lib Models folder. I updated the pubspec YAML file to add the Amplify API and data store packages. I also added Flutter heat map, collection, and Intel packages that I will use to implement the new functionalities. I updated the configure Amplify function in the main.dart file to add the Amplify data store and ABI plugins. Inside the Features folder, I created the Quiz Sessions folder, and inside it, I created the folders Controllers, Services, Data, and UI. I created the Dart file Quiz Sessions Data Store Services inside the Services folder. Here, I will use the Amplify Data Store to save and query the quest sessions data. I also created a provider for this service. The Amplify Data Store is an on-device storage engine that auto-sync data between the device and the database in the AWS Cloud to help building real-time and offline apps faster. Inside the data folder, I created the Quest Sessions repository to abstract away the services networking code. I created the Quest Sessions controller file to connect the UI with the repository. Here, I added the logic to create a map of the number of sessions per date. I will use that for the heat map calendar. I created two folders inside the UI folder, one for the calendar heat map and the other for displaying the list of sessions for a day. Next, I updated the routes enum to add the values for the session's calendar and list. For the heat map calendar, I am using a future provider on the quest sessions controller to get a data set of sessions count per date. I used a green color with different opacity to highlight on the calendar the number of sessions in a day. 
When the user click on a date from the calendar, the app will show a list of the quest sessions. I created a stateless widget to display the quest session details in a list style. To display the list, I am using a future provider on the quest sessions controller to get the sessions by passing the date the user selects. Next, I updated the router Dart file to add the routers for the sessions calendar and list pages. I added an action to the quiz page app bar. The user can click on it to navigate to the session's heat map calendar page. I updated the quiz controller to create the quiz session when the user complete the quiz. Here, I create a quiz session item using the difficulty, category, and number of questions from the setting state. I also capture the date and the score of the quiz. Then I pass the item to the add function of the quiz session repository. The code is now complete. I run the app and created a few sessions. I can see the heat map calendar showing the green colors based on the number of sessions. I needed to set the providers to auto-dispose so I don't get cache data.